Hello and welcome back to our FCS Dynasty in NCAA Football 2006. Today we've got the number 7 North Dakota State Bison hosting the Chattanooga Mox in Big 12 play. The Mox 2-4 and four on the season, Bison 7-1 and one as they host the Mox here in the Fargo Dome. Let me get this shared in the Discord and we'll get this thing started guys. Slap a like on the video, subscribe if you're new. And join that Discord community to get your college football career started in the offseason for one of our 12 schools in this series. Alright. Let me get this graphic off the screen here. Take a look at the matchup. Mox have been just absolutely bullied in this series so far. Haven't really stood a chance against any team, really. And it's because of that offense. Look at that, 105th in the country. Defense, 46th this season. Um, they're improving a little bit on that side of the football. But turnover differential has been killing this squad all season long. And the Bison, I mean, they're on a seven-game winning streak. So they are red hot right now with the number five offense in the country. Number nine defense. Pass offense, they don't need it. They got the number one rush offense because of that triple option attack. The rush defense, though. Could definitely use some work. 106th in the country. That is, that's, that's rough. But hopefully we can uh, fix that here today against the Mox. Who we got in the chat? Who we got? Carter Honeycutt. Ron Kemp. Tyler Rocky. How you guys doing? Hope you are all well today. All right, we got Zoomer Speed. He's number one on the Heisman watch list. He's the halfback for the Bison. 28 total touchdowns on the season. And he is pretty much the main reason why the Bison are 7-1 and one on the year. The Eggonator in the chat. Slim Chris. Jay Balmer, a.k.a. Jet Balmer. Big Geo. Marvin Joseph in the chat. What's going on, everybody? Fargo Dome is rocking already. And we are going to get the ball first because that's, that's just how I roll. That's what I want to do. So we're doing it. All right. <coughs> Excuse me. Oliver Rinson, Sean Mahan, back to return. And this is going to go to the freshman cornerback, Sean Mahan, number 11. He's going to take it out of the end zone. Mayhan still going up to the 17 or 18 yard line. Take a look at the offense led by junior quarterback Kelvin Jasper Jr. Carter Honeycutt is his backup, freshman quarterback number 16. Backfield is Zoomer Speed, the Heisman front runner. Token Nanticoke, Michael Gregory, and Jet Balmer at fullback is Cameron May. We'll see the big fella get some carries here today as he gets the first one of the game, loses a yard up the middle. Rest of the offense, Ryan Irwindowski. At receiver, Max Hawthorne at tight end. And the tackles, right tackle, Anders Harliday. And left tackle, Jake Harlow. Tom Schaefer in the chat. What's going on, Tom? Oh, couldn't quite pitch it out. Super Secret Garden in the chat. How you doing? Welcome. We got a third down and three situation. On our own 25-yard line. Jay Washington in the chat. What's up, Jay? And Calvin is going to get the first down and then some up past the 35-yard line. Head coach of the Bison, Colin Northrup in the chat. What's up, Colin? How you doing, buddy? Hope you're well. Sean Mahan in the chat as well. Cameron May, the fullback, he's going to pick up nine yards. Love seeing the big fella get some carries. All right, second down and one. We can do whatever we want on this play, pretty much. High snap. Oh, nice block on the right side. Oh, that's too easy. Come on, Zoomer, get there. Oh, just out of reach for speed. Oh, my goodness. That should have been a touchdown. All right, third down and one after the incomplete pass. And the full 
fullback. Cameron May gets blown up at the line of scrimmage. What a play by the defensive tackle. Chaos driven in the check. My brother, what's going on? Fourth down and one. We're going to go for it. Why not? Audrey in the chat, my sweet revenge. How you doing? All right, get there, pitch it out, and that's Michael Gregory. Did he get the first down? Oh my goodness, the Mox holds strong and get the stop. Sean Mahan, or not Sean Mahan, Michael Gregory rather, could not get the first down. That is a bucket of feels bad for the Bison. Now we're on defense. We'll go over the defense here in a moment. Play action over the middle. Nice catch by Sullivan as he lays out for it. No worries, Colin. I know you're busy, man. It's all good. Mox looking for a monumental upset here tonight. Another play action. That's a backwards pass to Sullivan. Oh, my goodness. That was a very awkward play. I do not like it. Man, they're going to keep throwing it. And, oh, Sean Mahan gets beat, but he does make the stop. First and goal, just like that, for the Chattanooga Mox, folks. You hate chat so much? Why is that, Carter? Explain yourself. From the eight-yard line, Mox is going to go play action. And that is going to be another catch for Cox as he beats Mayhan once again. A pickup of seven. It's second and goal from the one. tackle to the right yep and they get it touchdown Chattanooga okay then a bit of a rough start here in the Fargo Dome Point up, good at seven, nothing. That was a very easy touchdown drive for the Mox. Swept them in basketball last year and they kept calling you trash. Well, if you're trash, what would that make them? Oliver Vincent, the senior cornerback on the return. Oh, he gets lit up at the 20. Wow. Goodness gracious. All right. Let's march down the field, get some points. Okay. Weird, awkward play right there. Well, we pick up a few yards. Got to try to get the ball to zoomer speed. Wide open. There he is. Oh my goodness, he's just so quick. Up to the 37 yard line, first down, Bison. Right, let's try to get him a carry. Okay, good blocking downfield. That's a touchdown. Goodbye. Heisman front runner gets it in the end zone. Touchdown, North Dakota State. Zachary Joseph in the chat. What's up, Zachary? How you doing, buddy? 29th touchdown of the season for 
junior halfback, Zoomer Speed. viewers on the stream don't forget to slap the like button guys and subscribe if you're new I believe most of you are in the discord community or all of you actually that I've seen if not there's a link in the description below All right, defense, let's step it up. That was a piss poor performance on that last drive, and it's going to be just the same as Zeke Marunde misses the tackle on Ramsey. But Austin Bracey cleans it up. After this play, I will go over the defense. Crowd going wild. Direct snap, Miles Dawkins, look out. And they get the first down. Let's go over the defense before I forget again. Junior defensive end, Dio Langston, number 15. Linebacking core of Jeffrey Clark, Austin Bracey, and Zeke Morunde. Clark will be on the defensive line in some formations. In the secondary, Oliver Vincent, Sean Mahan, and Rich Rodriguez are all the corners. You see Toka Nanakok out there as well at linebacker. All right, second down and seven. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, that's a screen. Get him. Oh, that's a face mask. Come on, Zeke. You're having a rough start to this game. A missed tackle. Now a face mask. It's unfortunate. Second down and two now for Chattanooga. Play action. My guy's wide open, and that is incomplete. Two receivers kind of ran into each other. Thirty-nine percent on third downs this season. That's ninetieth in the country for Chattanooga. Third down and two. Fullback dive, and the big fellow's gonna get it. Oh my goodness! Oliver Vincent gets plowed over. First down, Max. All right, let's figure this out. On defense. Deep shot and incomplete. Barry out in coverage. Second down and 10. How's everybody's weeks going so far? You guys doing well? Everybody's staying healthy. Dodging the Rona. Pass right side, Sullivan open and gets the first down. We cannot stop these guys right now. Let's switch to the 4-3, see if that helps us. <coughs> Excuse me. Choking to death and dying. We pass. Oh, no! Token Nanakoke deflects it away, and Sullivan has great awareness and makes the catch. That's the end of the first quarter. We're all tied up. Seven apiece here in the Fargo Dome in Big 12 action. Oh my goodness, almost another great diving catch. Second down and 10. 10 play, 59 yard drive, two minutes off the clock. Am I dodging the Rona? No, I'm pretty sure I got it. I'm dying right now. Pray for me. Third down and two for the Mox. Come on, let's get the stop. Quarterback is in the zone, and they're going to go play action. Nice deflection by Barry, and we hold strong. 
field goal attempt upcoming. This will be a 29-yarder. And it is good. Mox take the lead 10-7 in the second. 13 play, 67-yard drive, almost two and a half minutes taken off the clock. Oh my goodness, I am not returning that. Maybe if it was on the left side of the field. Maybe. Alright, back to business. Let's get it. Gets another carry and look out. Up past the 30. There's a face mask. That's a personal foul. Let's attack on 15. Anytime Zoomer Speed touches the football, he has a potential to get a touchdown out of it. And that is just scary to think about. Oh my goodness, perfectly played right there. Let's go to the fullback option. Okay, could be good. And Cameron made the fullback with a spin, gets the first down inside the 40. Let's go, Cameron. That was just beautiful. First and 10 at the 36. Uh-oh. Run, Calvin. Y'all didn't know that Cameron May had a, had a nice little spin move like that, did you? Well, now you do. All right, second down and eight. I'll give it off to him again. And a nice juke. Picks up eight yards, or six yards, rather. I'll take it. Third and short from the 28. Super speed in the zone. Watch out for him. And he'll get it. Breaks the tackle. Oh, the spin. Can't get the first down, though. That was so nifty. And they want us to go for it. Fourth and one from the 27-yard line. But we won't need it. There's a personal foul right there for taunting. Uh, number 56, bonehead mistake. I'll take it. Oh, Michael Gregory was wide open. Come on. Gotta catch those, man. Bill Stevens in the chat. What's up, Bill? How you doing, man? Hope you're well. Cameron May up the middle, dragging a defender, picks up seven or eight yards. He's got 40 in the first half. Let's see what we can do here. They're down at two. How's my cats doing? I mean, they're all right, I guess. No! Oh, I bounced off the left tackle. So we're going to have to attempt a field goal anyways on this drive. Watch this little bounce right there. It bounced right off me. It just slowed me down. Feels bad. Twenty-eight yard attempt for Madison. Should be easy. And I got it. Let's go. 
all tied up. Low scoring affair in the Fargo Dome, 10 apiece. You know, I'm gonna have to do a dynasty at some point with a team nicknamed the Wildcats and named the head coach after my cats. I'll have to do it. Just tackle, all right, back on defense. All right, the 4-3 stopped him last drive, so let's let's keep going with that. Oh, nice deflection at the line of scrimmage. You don't see that very often. That was a good play. And I believe that was Zeke Marunde. Yes, it was. With the linebacker sitting here at the left-hand spot. Very heads-up play. You'd love to see it. All right, second down and 10. They're having a hard time here. Fargo Dome going buck wild. And there's a bad pass as a result. Third down and 10. I do love that Mox logo. I love it. All right, crowd. Help us out. 12th man. And you can't hear again. Screen. And we got him. Let's go. Oliver Vincent on the stop. Right, let's try to block this. And a quick shout out to John Perez, a.k.a. Pete Mitchell, wide receiver for the Savannah State Tigers, for boosting the Discord server again. Appreciate you, man. Oh, Vincent dropped at the 37. All right, let's get some points here before the half. This is looking a little rough right now. They're giving us a run for our money. Nice block by Zoomer Speed, and that's going to spring Jasper free to the left side, and Cameron May gets the pitch up to the 45. Beautiful. Two minutes left in the half. Let's go, Calvin. Perfect play. Zoomer Speed is gone again. Touchdown, Bison. Let's go. Beautiful execution from quarterback to halfback. His 30th touchdown total of the year. And that'll get the Bison the lead 17 to 10 after the extra point. Point is good. And back to defense we go. That was not a good kickoff. Oh my goodness. Oh, I got destroyed. No. Oh, well, whatever. It's face mask. We'll take it anyway. At least we stopped him. <laughs> Rich Rodriguez, sophomore cornerback with a face mask penalty. And Sean Mahan is injured on the play. So that could be a big loss for the Bison secondary. Rich Rodriguez will fill in for him at the number two cornerback spot. Pass left side. Dawson has it for a yard. And the mocks call a timeout. They have two left in the half. Hold.
Hopefully we get some good news about Sean Mahan and his injured shoulder. Good pass again left side. Bostic has it, but he's taken down inbounds. Three catches, one yard for Bostic. Oh my goodness. Third down and four from the 47. Baker is 10 of 16, 70 yards, no touchdowns, no picks. Not a bad day at the office, I guess. Could be worse. Oh, nice catch by Sullivan. Great route. And that's a first down. Perfect placement by the quarterback. Oh no! Oh my goodness. First and goal. It's so hard to defend that when you get in front of them. You don't know which way to turn. My defense went kaput. It went kaput. Alright. High snap. Quick pass to the end zone, it's caught, and that's a touchdown for Bostic. He's got four catches, eight yards, and a touchdown. My goodness. I think this is the best that we've ever seen the Mox play in this series so far. Tied up again. They just won't quit. They won't go away. The mocks are mocking the defense. Yeah, it's it's a little rough right now. I can't lie. Oh boy, Ryan Erwandowski's out here on kick return. That's that's rough. My man's got Tom Brady speed. What is he doing out here? Mayhan will return soon for the Bison. That's good news for the secondary. Get that block. Oh, he didn't get it. Run, Calvin. Take off. Jet Bombers wide open and he's overthrown. Oh my goodness. Should have been a huge play. Zimmer Speed gets the carry. And he's got the first down too easy. 30 seconds left. We got two timeouts left. We're gonna try to save him. So we get under 20 seconds left. Throw it up to Joey Hall. Let's go, baby! All right, we'll call time. If it'll let me. Good throw by Jasper. All right. From the 37. One timeout left, 17 seconds. Not quite in field goal range for Madison. I just throw it up. Who is it? Oh, incomplete. All right, we got time for one, maybe two more plays before a field goal attempt. Let's get weird with it. Just go with the off tackle. Zoomer speed. Let's go, Zoomer. First down. All right, we got time for one more play. And I'm just going to throw it away. Nobody's open. And we'll kick the field goal. 
Try to, at least. Alright, Tom. Take it easy, bro. Appreciate you stopping by, man. Madison's field goal attempt is up, and it is through. The Bison take the lead as we go into the half. 20-17 to 17 over the Chattanooga Mocs. And our next game will be tomorrow. This will probably be a day game. Number two, Dayton, will be hosting the Western Illinois Leathernecks in Big Ten action. So that should be a fun one, guys. Look forward to that. T-Roy, is that you in the chat? What's up, T-Roy? Get that tackle. All right, defense. Let's, uh, let's figure it out. Let's go to nickel. Oh, my goodness. What a hit. <laughs> wow. Beautiful play. Oliver Vincent is in the zone at corner. Yeah, it looks to be like Sean Mahan is back in at the right cornerback spot. Ray Senga in the chat. What's going on, Ray? Oh, boy. The only Big Ten football we're having this year? Yes, sir. All right, third down and 10 now. There was some miscommunication by the quarterback and receiver on that last play. All right, defense, let's get it. All right, the receivers actually got the audible there. Quick pass deflected away. Alvin Vincent swats it down to the grass. And we have a chance to expand on our lead. Rodriguez almost got to it. Let's go, Oliver. Let's go, baby. Oh, he doesn't have the speed. Feels bad. All right. Back to offense we go. Let's get a touchdown here. Take a two-touchdown, or a two-touchdown. Yeah, two-touchdown. Two-score lead. My goodness, I just cannot talk. Somebody help me. Option, pitch it out. This is Jet Balmer. The freshman picks up two yards. Go back to the shotgun here. I feel like we can get zoomer speed out in the open field here on the left side. We'll, we'll do pretty well for ourselves. And we're actually going to switch it up to the right side because left side was completely covered. Kelvin Jasper Jr. gets the first down. There's a flag for clipping. English is hard. It sure is. Isn't it like the hardest language there is? Alright, uh, second down and 21. This is an awful situation for an option attack team, but we got zoomer speed and that's all we need. Let's go. 169 yards on seven carries. They have zero answer for him right now. Alright, we are... Two of five on third downs. We've been stopped a couple times on third and short. Nice blocking. Let's go. Calvin, get that first down, baby. Great blocking downfield. That was just stupendous. All right, speed is in the zone again. Oh, boy. And there's a face mask. All right. Cool. We'll take it. 
quite a few penalties for the Mox in this game. Get it! Uh-oh. I've got it back to the line of scrimmage. That could have been a lot worse than that. Alright, we got to be careful of their linebacker. He is in the zone at the moment. Cameron May! Oh my goodness! All the way inside the 15-yard line. What a run by the fullback. Let's go, big fella. Rumble, young man, rumble. You gotta just love to see it, you know? Two red zone trips, two field goals. Let's uh, let's put a one in that touchdown column, shall we? Okay. That was so easy. Touchdown, North Dakota State. The speed three touchdowns in the game gives him 31 total touchdowns on the season. He's got all the touchdowns here tonight. Tom would be so happy with the fullback run, absolutely. Madison on for the extra point, it's up and it's good. No bison sounds. No, my computer's been acting, you know, worse than normal. All right. Let's go, defense. Let's get it. Ten-point lead now. For the number seven ranked North Dakota State Bison. Hosting the Chattanooga Mox in Big 12 action. Do I want a new computer? Uh, yeah, kind of. Oh, how is that not a pick? Come on, man. I was supposed to get a new computer, I don't know, like four months ago. But, you know, things happen. I was unable to. Let's go, Austin Bracey, baby! Run, Austin! Up to the 16-yard line, the junior middle linebacker gets the pick. The user. They tried to test me, but they didn't know that I studied for that test. I'm just saying. Let's extend the lead. Oh, Cameron May met right at the line of scrimmage. And somehow got a yard out of it. I don't know how. But I'll take it. Three red zone trips. One touchdown. Two field goals now. Oh, boy. Throw it up. Max Hawthorne, the tight end. His first catch of the ball game. And that's going to bring up third down and three from the nine. 50% on third downs tonight. Uh-oh. No. There it is, folks. There's the Calvin Jasper Jr. fumble. Oh boy. All right. Feels bad. He just basically just dropped it behind him for no apparent reason. Quick pass left side. That's Bostic. Uh oh. Look out. Bostic still going. That's back juke up past the 40. 
think that was his fifth catch of the ball game. Austin Bracey just bounces right off him. Okay. Decent little run by Ramsey. Picks up six yards. Only five carries for the halfback in the game. 22 yards and a touchdown. Was spoken into existence. The Jasper Jr. fumble? Yeah, I'm blaming Jay. It's your fault, Jay. Get him. Nice tackle. Let's go. Look at Zoomer speed, 17.9 yards per carry. Get wrecked. It helps that every time the ball is pitched to him, there's nobody in front of him. He's just too fast. Oh, my goodness. I almost had another pick. Sorry, right, we'll, we'll take the incomplete pass and a punt. 44 and a half yard average for the punter tonight. That's pretty decent. Oh, Rodriguez. So close. You know we got to go back and look at that. Aw. If he jumped a split second earlier, he might have been closer than that. Just saying. It always looks closer in real time. All right, that play was well defended. I'll give him that. Jasper has a mild case of the hammer hands. Oh my goodness, you never want that. That's the worst. All right, who want it? Who want it? Oh my goodness! Come on, Zoomer! You'd still be running, son. Defensive end in the zone for the Mox. Oh my goodness gracious. Really? This is why I don't throw you the football, Ryan. Because you just can't catch. One of the most unathletic receivers I've ever seen in my life. Get him. And Ramsey, the halfback, injured his elbow on the play for Chattanooga. Frustrating? What's frustrating, Tyler? The game? It's not that frustrating. We'll be alright. We're all having a good time here tonight. Oh, nice tackle, Oliver. Let's go. That'll bring up second down and six from the 43-yard line. 30 seconds left in the third. Oh my goodness, they were going to throw it my way too. Five hurries, no sacks, and one pick for the defense. I think that might have been the first time we actually hit the quarterback though. Ramsey will return, just elbow bursitis. Some miscommunication here by the quarterback and a receiver. And we get to him, the first sack of the ball game. And let's see who got him. That was Dio Langston, the junior defensive end. Big time play. And we're gonna call for a fair catch again at the 14 yard line. 
And that's the end of the third quarter. Get your fours up in the chat, folks. Bison on top, 27 to 17 over the Chattanooga Mox. We're looking for a monumental upset. Okay, Kelvin. I see you. Down at 10 from the 27. That'll be another decent run here. Toka Nanta Coke gets the carry. He'll move the chains. Nearing 300 yards rushing for the game. It's so hard to defend the triple option. Especially when your defense doesn't have a lot of speed like the mocks. They, they're just so slow. Oh boy, I tried to stay away from that linebacker. He's still got the big hit on me. Loss of one for the offense. Jasper's a little tired, so we're just going to hand this off to Zoomer Speed, see what he can do on the left side. And he can do quite well for himself as he outraces almost everybody inside the 35 yard line. Get wrecked. Oh my goodness, his ankles. They're gone. They're dead. Bomber, oh the spin, bouncing around like a pinball. Oh, great blocking, Jet Bomber to the house. Touchdown, North Dakota State. Are you kidding me? What a run by the freshman. Woo, that was nasty. Great blocking downfield as well by, I believe that was Bailey, one of the freshman receivers. 34 yard run for Jet Bomber. Extra point up and good. It's 34-17 now. Bison pulling away a little bit. How's Florida doing in this? They are not in this series, sir. Nice back to you. Almost 20 viewers, guys. We've got 19 watching right now. You guys are the best. Oh, my goodness. Nice catch for the tight end. You thought they were? Now this is an FCS dynasty, so we have 79 FCS schools that were already built into the game. They're in this dynasty, and then I created 12 other FCS schools that were not in the game. So we have 91 FCS teams all together, and some smaller FBS schools to finish out the rest of the 119 teams that are actually in the series. Third down and one for the Mox from the 31 yard line. They're two of seven tonight on third downs. Get him. Let's go. Theo Langston, his second sack of the ball game. That is just a beautiful thing. I tell you what. And they're going to have to punt it away again. This punter is getting a workout tonight. And 
And it looks like Vincent's going to have a chance to return this one. And nice spin up past the 30-yard line. He's got one touchdown return on the season. Not too bad. Mox played a hell of a game tonight. Gave us a run for our money for sure. Two yard pickup for Cameron May. As we look to run the clock out. Hope you guys enjoyed this game. Our next game will be Western Illinois at number two, Dayton. Big Ten play. That'll be tomorrow. Most likely a day game. Oh, nice tackle. Okay. I see you. Third down and five. I'm just going to hand it off to Zoomer Speed. See what he can do. Why not? And he'll get the first down and then some up the sideline to the 46 of Chattanooga. I would do a double header tonight, but I am just so exhausted. I just don't have the energy for it. All right, let's get Carter Honeycutt in here, get him some playing time with less uh, for the last two minutes. Let's see what the young fella can do. We know he can ball out. We've seen it before this season. He's, he's had some uh, some decent playing time. Oh boy. Uh oh. Hold on to the football, Carter. No! Alright, we recovered it. We'll forget about it. <laughs> that could have been terrible. Come on, young man. Hold on to that football. Zero blocking on the right side is going to result in a fourth down and a timeout for Chattanooga. Man, that was a terrible kick. That's going to be like a 10-yard kick. Oh, my goodness. The record for most touchdowns in a season, like by one player. Most total touchdowns. Uh, it would have to be Brandon Allen because he's rushed for 36 touchdowns in a season twice. So I'm not sure about receiving and return touchdowns though. Have to look into that. Oh, nice catch by Bostic. Okay. Baker, 196 yards, touchdown, and a pick for the day. He wasn't too bad. Nice tackle by Austin Bracey. Super speed player of the game for the Bison. Hughes, player of the game for Chattanooga. tackle let's go oh, yeah, we'll decline it. I'm not gonna go for it either way
Baker on for his 33rd pass attempt of the game. Unless they run it for some, some crazy reason. Yeah, they, he almost got that there. Oh, my goodness. Nice deflection by Vincent. Turnover on downs. And the Bison will be able to run the football and get the clock down to triple zeros. Okay. I guess we're just going backwards with Honeycutt tonight. That is a feels bad. Speed, one more carry for him. And he's pushed out of bounds at the 42. He's over 200 yards rushing for the game, 237 to be exact. And we'll run one more play and get on out of here. Yep. It's, it's just Honeycutt going backwards. That is rough. Try to get the young man some playing time, and the O-line just says, meh, I don't feel like blocking today. But that is going to be the final, guys. North Dakota State, number seven team in the land, wins it 34-17 to over the Chattanooga Mocs in the Fargo Dome in Big 12 action. Bison improved to 8-1 on the season, and the Mocs fall to 2-5 struggling to get into the bowl season. But the Mox did play a heck of a game in the first half. They kept it really close. But the speed and depth of the Bison helped them prevail in the end. All right, let's take a look at the stats, shall we? 398 rushing yards for the Bison, just 63 passing. Four of ten on third downs. That's, I mean, that that's a bit rough. Can't lie. Chattanooga went two of nine. Both teams went 0 for one on fourth, and we fumbled it in the red zone. Very sad. Very sad times. And let's see. They had four penalties. We had three. Unlike the African-American community, what with notable... What the world is happening on my computer right now? What was that? I'm honestly not even sure what just happened. I'm not even looking at my computer, and I hear Joe Biden in the background. What is this? Well, excuse me. <laughs> Good lordy. All right, time of possession. Anyways, 15 plus minutes for North Dakota State. What is this? Where is Joe Biden on my computer? Somebody help me. Somebody please send help. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. Oh, that's what it is. Okay. I load up YouTube. And apparently a random ad in the background that I can't even see. That's just glorious. Craniac Gaming in the chat. What's up, man? You're late? That's ah, all good. You're just in time for some, apparently, some Joe Biden commercials popping up on YouTube for some reason. Anyways, <laughs> I'm just so, like, flabbergasted right now. I don't know what's going on anymore. All right, individual stats as we try to get back to this and ignore some random commercials popping up here. I guess this video is not going to be monetized, huh? All right, 237 rushing yards, resume speed, two touchdowns. Jet Balmer had that nifty little 34-yard run. It was amazing. Who's Joe Biden? Don't worry about it, Tyler. Don't, don't worry about it, buddy. <laughs> All right, resume speed, touchdown catch as well. He had a drop, so did Ryan Ermandowski. Harlow-Day, 11 pancakes. Jake Harlow, a lot of sack, had six pancakes. Austin Bracey, seven tackles. 
And four tackles for loss of defense. Two sacks. We got those in the fourth quarter. Both of them, I believe. Bracey with a pick. The user interception. Five deflections for the defense. And two for two kicking. Adrian Madison. And terrible punting. We're not going to talk about it. And really nothing good on, on returns. All right. And we are away from from Joe Biden commercials now. Our next game, right there, is going to be the 3-4 and four Western Illinois Leathernecks traveling to Dayton, Ohio to take on the number two ranked 7-0 and oh Dayton Flyers. That is Big Ten play. Should be a fun game. It's nationally televised, and I feel like we haven't seen the Flyers in, well, quite some time, actually. Um, if you have not joined our Discord community yet, Go ahead and do so. There's a link in the description below. You'll have to join us if you want a player in the offseason for one of our 12 schools. Uh, let's see. Like the video on your way out. Subscribe if you're new. And all that fun stuff. And, yeah, that's that's pretty much it, guys. I will see you tomorrow. That's probably going to be a day game. Uh, just, you know, whenever I wake up after breakfast time, which, you know, could be noon, Eastern. I don't know. Whenever I feel like getting up. <laughs> But anyways, guys, thanks for tuning in. I'll see you all tomorrow. Take it easy.